Hello viewers. Today, we are covering the 5 best portable projector on the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are going to give you an impartial review to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. If you want more information and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video be sure to check the links in the description below. So, let's get started. Number 1. Our overall best pick for the money is Epson Expression Premium XP7100 Wireless Color Photo Printer. The Kodak Luma 350 Portable Smart Projector, the flagship of the company's Luma line of palm top projectors, is brighter than the Kodak Luma 150 unit, but what really sets it apart from the Luma 150 and the Luma 75 is its integration of the Android 6 operating system, letting you install and run Android apps. It projects a reasonably large usable image for its brightness, is fine for casual movie viewing, and does well at projecting photos. It earns our editor's choice for a palm top entertainment projector. An LED based projector that uses Texas Instruments DLP technology, the Luma 350 has a rated brightness of 200 ANSI lumens and a claim 3 500 to 1 contrast ratio. Its 480p resolution, common among many projectors, works out to a 16 to 9 widescreen aspect ratio. As is typical of LED-based projectors, the light source has a very long rated lifetime, 30,000 hours, which should more than outlast the life of the projector itself. Number 2. Our second best pick is Anchor Nebula Apollo. The Anchor Nebula Apollo is among the smallest models in the company's Nebula line of entertainment projectors but it packs a lot of multimedia capability into its modest body. It can project images and video from external sources, store on a USB thumb drive, or from internal memory, play music files, and even function as a Bluetooth speaker when paired with your smartphone or other mobile device. You can control the Apollo through its built-in control panel, an included remote, or from an iOS or Android device through the Nebula Connect app. Speaking of Android, the Apollo has that operating system built in, bringing the universe of Android apps to your projector screen. Its unusually long battery life between charges makes the Apollo a good choice as a portable projector, especially when you are away from an external power source and also need impactful audio. Number 3. Our third best pick is Jimmy Elfin Mini Projector. The Jimmy Elfin delivers lots of capability for its size price, and 2 pound weight, including built-in streaming courtesy of Android TV 10 and a highly watchable image for movies and video. Unlike the similarly priced Anchor Nebula Solar Portable, our top pick for a fully portable palm top or mini projector, it doesn't include a built-in battery. But not using batteries frees it from a design requirement to conserve power, which lets it offer an 800 ANSI lumen brightness rating. That's twice the rating of the Nebula Solar, enough to make it one of the brightest projectors for its size. It's our new top pick for a non-battery-powered mini-projector. The Elfin pairs a 1080p DLP chip with a 4-color red-green-blue-blue RGBB LED light source. More precisely, and importantly, the projector uses one of TI's Manhattan chips, with a rectangular array rather than the diamond array that's common in small projectors. Diamond arrays have low power consumption but add artifacts to some images. The light source is rated at 25,000 hours. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 Smart Streaming Laser Projector. The Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 Smart Streaming Laser Projector is a more refined version of the Epson EF100. It has a higher resolution, at 1080p, and lower brightness, at 1000 lumens. Both are smaller than typical for laser projectors, both are designed for streaming, and neither supports 3D. But the EF12 offers integrated Android TV instead of a bundled dongle, adds support for 4K UHD input for downconverting, and adds HDR support for both HDR10 and HLG. Color accuracy is excellent and the stereo speakers are impressive for the size. Overall, the Epic Vision Mini EF12 has a polished feel, and it's impressive enough to earn an editor's choice nod for streaming projectors. One of the advantages lasers have over lamps is that most are meant to last the life of the projector, eliminating the cost of replacement lamps. 
the EF-12 light source is rated at 20,000 hours of projecting at full power. It's paired with a three-chip LCD design, which ensures that you won't see any rainbow artifacts and that color images will be as bright as you would expect from the lumen rating, which isn't always true for single-chip projectors. All this is packed into a matte black near cube that measures just 5.3 by 6.9 by 6.9 inches and weighs only 4.7 pounds. You can easily move it from room to room. Or install it permanently, including in a ceiling mount. Number 5. Last but not the least, our fifth best pick is Mirewar M189 HD Portable Projector. At first glance, the Mirewar SYMQ M189 projector looks like a series of near misses. It's easy to use, but lacks automatic or powered focus or adjustable image settings. It's light and has a built-in battery, so it qualifies as a portable projector, but it's bigger than a palm top and doesn't have a handle. It's designed for streaming, but you have to buy your own streaming stick. However, its high points more than balance out those drawbacks. We love its unusually high-quality color accuracy and audio for its size, the ultra-simple setup, and the flexibility of using any streaming service you like. The M189 pairs a RGB LED light source with a 1280x720 DLP chip. Despite its native 720p resolution, it behaves like a 1080p projector with a maximum 1080p 60Hz input, automatically negotiating connections at 1080p. It will give you a slightly softer focus than a 1080p model, but its brightness rating of 200 LED lumens and 150 ANSI lumens means you're best off using a screen no bigger than 45 diagonal inches, and at that size, the difference between 720p and 1080p isn't very noticeable. So, grab this while you can. Be sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback. 